Hey guys, it's Katya. Today I decided to leave my hair completely natural. Don't know if I hate it or love it, but <laughs> that's how it's gonna be in this video. Today I thought I'd talk about some of the differences that I've noticed between high school and college. Just a little background, I went to a small private high school in California and I'm going to a private but not so small, like medium college in Boston. So what I'm about to say might not be true for everyone, but I think it's general. I think most people would agree. The first kind of topic I'm gonna talk about are friends. Making friends and hanging out with friends in high school and college are really different. In high school, you kind of have to be really good friends to hang out. That's like my experience. In high school, if you were to ask someone to hang out that you've only talked to once, you'd be seen as like weird or like, what are you doing? Like, get away. <laughs> my school was also really clicky. So if you were to like cross social groups, you'd be seen as weird or like ask someone from a different social group to hang out like, it wasn't a thing. Like you had your own group and you had your own friends that you've known for a while and that's who you'd hang out with and kind of no one else, which was very stupid. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, so stupid and annoying. But in college, if you meet someone once, if you talk to someone once, if you literally just see them for the first time, you can ask them to like hang out or like grab a coffee or go to a party and like it's not weird at all. It doesn't even matter if you have a class together or if you're in a, the same club, like none of that matters anymore. It's just, oh, you see someone and you're allowed to hang out with them. In my college, there's no more popularity. There's no popularity. Everyone's on the same level. Everyone's just here trying to learn and have fun. So it's not weird to ask anyone to hang out. The next thing I'm gonna talk about are classes. In high school, you're taking classes that are required. You don't, probably you don't wanna take them. I know I didn't wanna take all my science and history classes in high school, but. So you're taking classes you don't wanna take. If you don't show up to those classes, your parents get called or you get a detention or something bad happens. The teachers are constantly on you about participating or not turning in work or anything, at least in my school, because I went to a small private school. I'm not sure how it is for public schools, but I feel like teachers care if you're not turning in work or if you're being disruptive or anything. In high school, you're also learning more from the homework than the lectures. It's kind of like you learn while doing homework and then you go into class and the teacher kind of reviews what you've already learned. So the lectures are kind of stupid. <laughs> in college, yes, attendance is sometimes optional. I have classes where they take attendance and I have classes where they don't. But kids in college actually want to go to class, so I don't know why you'd skip out on class in college. Like, why are you in college, you know? You're also taking classes that you want to take, that you personally picked. And even if some classes are required, it's still in your major, so you're probably gonna find it interesting. The teachers don't know you, for one. They probably don't know you, probably don't know your name. They probably don't care if you're turning in work or not. They just see you as a grade, which is fine, unless you introduce yourself, but I'm socially awkward, hi. <laughs> but the thing I found about college, which was really interesting, is that I learn way more from lectures than the reading. The reading kind of serves as like, a precursor to the lecture like I learn most of the material in the lecture because they expand on what's in the reading so if the readings really short it's kind of like oh you get the background and then they're gonna teach you in class because I never had that I I feel like in high school I was teaching myself from the books that they assigned and from the readings they assigned and then in class it was nothing like they they were learning with us <laughs> but in college, they're the ones who wrote the books. Like, I think they know a lot. So you're really learning what you want in college. That's what kind of makes it enjoyable because I'm not forced to sit through a history class that I care nothing about, you know, but I'm in media classes and English classes that I love. So it's easier to show up and it's easier to pay attention actually in college. The next thing I thought about were parties. In high school, there was always certain people who would throw the parties for their certain groups and no one outside the group was invited or welcomed, I guess. But at every party I've been to, and I've been to a few different groups, everyone was just trying to show 
how drunk they are, how high they are on their Snapchat. Oh my god, if I could tell you the amount of times where I see someone screaming in a Snapchat and then they put the phone down and everyone's silent. <laughs> it's so awkward to see in person. Like, who cares? Everyone's trying to compete like, oh, I'm drunker than you, like I'm higher than you, like whatever, whatever, whatever. In college parties, no one cares who goes. No one. Everyone's there to have fun, no matter what grade you're in, no matter what school you go to even. No one's trying to show off how drunk they are. Like, everyone's just there to have fun and to meet new people. You meet a lot of new people at college parties. That's kind of why I like college parties more because in the high school, because my high school was so small, I knew everyone there. And it was kind of like, yeah, yeah, you're my friends, but like, it's the same friends every weekend. But in college, you get a new batch every weekend and you bring your friends and it's a fun time. The next thing I thought of were living situations. If you're in high school, you're probably living with your parents. You're probably getting home cooked meals or at least you're not paying for your meals. You get free laundry service by your parents. You probably have a curfew. And if you don't, it shows, <laughs> I'm kidding. You probably have a curfew. You have to ask permission to go places after school or on the weekends. At least I did because I have good parents. <laughs> but in college, most people are living on their own in a dorm or an apartment. They have a roommate, they live alone. You're eating in dining halls, you're ordering too much food and spending too much money. Or you have a kitchen that you either use <laughs> or don't. You don't have to run your plans by anyone. You can go out anytime, anywhere, with anyone. So while there's way more freedom, there's also way more responsibility because you have to feed yourself. And no, you can't order food every day and you can't eat chips for dinner every day. Like there's no one to tell you to eat right. And you have to plan your time accordingly. Like, yes, you're there to have fun. Like, go for it. Go out with friends, whatever. But you're also there to do work. And there's no one to tell you, like, no, you have to finish your homework before you go out. Like, that's up to you now. <laughs> the last thing I thought of kind of going off of the last topic is scheduling. In high school, you probably have the same boring schedule every single week. Classes at the same time, lunches at the same time, after school practices at the same time. In college, you get to make your own schedule. You get to pick the classes, you get to pick which days they're on usually. You get to pick if you don't have school Friday or what time your days end every day or what time your days start, which not having to wake up at 6 to get to school at 8 is amazing. <laughs> I start my days at 10.30. That's all I gotta say. You also have way more time throughout the day. I have roughly two classes a day, so if I'm done with my second class at like 1.30, like I have the rest of the day to do whatever I want. Also, if you have time in between class, you get to kind of pick where your lunches are, where your dinners are, like what do you do in between that. There's just a lot more free time and a lot of different options you can do rather than having the same boring schedule every single day or every single week. But yeah, those are some of the differences I came up with. If you have any more questions, you can just leave them down below and I'll answer them in the comments. If you want to follow me on my social media, I put them all in the description. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Bye. I ain't got no time for no games. <laughs> no time for no games.